Hey, what's up everybody? Ben here from blogwithben.com. And in today's video, we're going to explore the world of monetizing a sports blog with Edstera ads. Specifically, I'm gonna walk you through a proven strategy that will show you how to leverage Edstera's ad network so that you could publish ads on your blog during relative sporting events, turning those peak traffic times into lucrative conversions. And when the adrenaline is high and fans across the globe are glued to their screens, your blog becomes a potential goldmine of traffic. And it's during these peak times like tournament finals, important races, matches, etc. It's during those events that your content can drive increased ad revenue. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through some ways to capitalize on sporting events, web traffic as a blogger and as an Edstera publisher. And real quick, before we get started, if you get any value out of this video, I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to the Blog with Ben YouTube channel. Helps me bring you more resources and it keeps you up to date with all of the WordPress and tech trends happening throughout the year. But either way, thank you so much for all your support. All right, with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so as I mentioned in the intro, I'm gonna walk you through a monetization strategy that will allow you to capitalize on web traffic during sporting events. But first, I wanna answer the question, why should you advertise and monetize traffic during sporting events? Well, for starters, due to the event taking place at a specific date and time, you know almost precisely when the web traffic will increase. It's like your own crystal ball telling you when a ton of traffic will be online. Additionally, sports fans anticipating an important match or tournament are typically in high feather, meaning they're usually in a good mood, and this positive behavior tends to lead to higher conversions. Also, streaming sites and other sports-related platforms invest in driving more targeted traffic to the web. Again, this opens the door to higher converting traffic landing on your site. Bottom line, with global audiences tuning in to a popular sporting event, your blog has the potential to capture an engaged and passionate crowd. But how do you ensure your Edstera ads and your offers aren't just seen, but clicked on and converted? Well, the secret lies in timing, content alignment, and innovative ad placements. So next, let's go over how to strategically leverage Edstera ads during sporting events to increase your conversions. In this portion of the tutorial, I'm going to give you an overview of how I go about setting this strategy up. But a quick disclaimer before we get started. The strategies and potential earnings discussed in this video are based on historical data and past performance of sporting events and Edstera ad placements. And I provide this information as a guide to help you optimize your blog for increased ad revenue during peak events. However, please be aware that actual results may vary due to factors such as market dynamics, audience behavior, and the specific content of your site. And I cannot guarantee specific earning outcomes. It's important to continuously analyze and adapt your strategy based on your blog's performance and audience engagement. Okay, now that that's out of the way, let's go over this monetization strategy. So the first step is to have some sort of digital platform. And for this example, I'm acting as if I have an eSports WordPress blog. If you're new to eSports, think of it as like professional video game players, also known as gamers. And the content that I'm focusing on for this video will be related to the eSports and gaming niche. However, if you're not in that type of niche, that's okay. This strategy isn't just for sports blogs, but also for entertainment, streaming, movie sites, etc. The key here is to drive traffic to your site during sporting events, and we'll get into that in just a bit, but having a digital platform to drive traffic to is the first piece of the puzzle. Now, I'm not going to walk you through the entire process of making a blog in this video, but I do have a ton of free content on my YouTube channel that will show you how to get a professional blog up and running, and I'll link to a few of those tutorials in the video description below. But again, the first step in this strategy is to have your own digital platform. The second part is to be an Edstera publisher. And if you're new to the concept, a publisher is someone who has a website or any other platform and looks to monetize their audience by placing different sorts of ads within their content. Then when your visitors see or interact with those ads, you receive a certain amount of money from advertisers who want to promote their services. And to sign up to become an Edstera publisher, it's free, I might add, and you can do so by visiting my referral link, blogwithbin.com forward slash edstera. 
and I've linked to it in the video description below, but using my referral link is 100% free and will allow you to quickly sign up to become a publisher for Edstera. Plus, when you become a publisher, you'll get your own referral link that you can then use to earn additional revenue as well. So the sooner you apply, the sooner you could start earning revenue with your blog. So visit my referral link and you'll be taken to the publisher sign up form that you're looking at right now, where you'll enter some basic credentials and create your Edstera account. And I have another step-by-step -step video tutorial that shows you everything you need to know in order to get started as an Edstera publisher. So if you haven't gone through that process yet, I highly recommend checking out that video when you have some extra time. Finally, there will be an affiliate marketing angle to this strategy as well. And due to the surge in traffic of sports fans, this presents an opportunity to capitalize on the traffic with sports-related affiliate offers. And if you're new to affiliate marketing, it's basically you promoting another company's products for a cut of the profit when there's a sale. And I've made over six figures with affiliate marketing alone as a digital creator, and there is a ton of opportunity online when it comes to affiliate offers. And in order to become an affiliate for a company, you have a few options. You can join an affiliate network, which is like a platform containing multiple companies who are looking for affiliates. An example of that would be ShareASale, which is what you're looking at right now. And I'll be sure to link to this affiliate network in the video description below. But here you can find merchants related to your niche and apply to join their affiliate programs. And once approved, you're given a unique link that will track your conversions and allow you to earn a percentage of the sale of whatever it is that you're promoting. And the key here is to align your affiliate offers with your audience's needs and wants. And since I'm running an eSports blog for this video, a video game controller affiliate offer would be perfect for my audience. All right, so a quick recap of this strategy. First, you'll need to have some sort of digital platform like a WordPress blog. Next, you'll need to become an Adstera publisher in order to run ads on your site. And you'll also need to become an affiliate for various companies that you want to promote. You'll then drive traffic to your blog or website during various sporting events. And due to this surge of traffic during peak times, the hope is that you'll also see a surge of people interacting with your ads and converting on your affiliate offers as well, ultimately increasing your earnings. So with that being said, let's go over how to implement this strategy. Okay, once you've successfully done the three requirements mentioned in part two of this video, which are to have a digital platform like a WordPress blog, you'll sign up to be an Adstera publisher and enable their ads on your site, and then sign up to be an affiliate for relevant companies that have products that your audience would be interested in. Once you've done those three things, you can move forward with this strategy of monetizing sporting event traffic. And one key component to this is to create pre-event buzz. And if you recall for this example, I'm running an eSports blog, so I'll start with the hype. Weeks before a major eSporting event, I'll begin seeding content that builds anticipation. I'll use teasers, predictions, behind the scenes looks to draw on the audience. I'll also engage with them through social media, email newsletters, and interactive posts. And this pre-event buzz not only boosts your site's visibility, but primes your audience for Adstera ads, making them more receptive when the event kicks in. Now, Adstera has a great sporting event calendar that I'll link to in the video description below, but this is a great reference in terms of finding sporting events and aligning your campaigns with these specific dates. Now, as you can see here, it looks like there's an eSports event, the Counter-Strike 2 World Cup in Brazil on April 4th through the 7th of this year. And this is perfect because I'm filming this video in March of 2024. So that gives me enough time to craft some campaigns around this event to help drive that Counter-Strike 2 World Cup traffic to my sports blog. Now this doesn't mean that since I have an eSports blog, I have to only focus on eSports events. However, it does make it easier to leverage my content due to the fact that the subject matter of that content aligns with the sporting event. But either way, creating pre-event buzz is a key component to capitalizing on this surge of relevant traffic. And let's walk through this example really quick. So you might be thinking that you don't have time to create all of this content so close to the event date. Well, that's when ChatGPT comes into play. I highly recommend leveraging this AI tool for creating blog content when you're pressed for time. As you can see, I asked it to write a blog post explaining and predicting outcomes for the upcoming Counter-Strike 2 World Cup in Brazil. Now, you'll obviously want to fact check this content before publishing it online, 
You don't have to be a sports expert, but it's great to be an active researcher. This field doesn't tolerate outdated information. So be sure to mention key players, teams, and events to remain credible. Then once you're able to verify that the content is correct and up to date, you can use it to create pre-event buzz and drive traffic to your site before and during the Counter-Strike 2 World Cup. Remember, this traffic is primed and ready to convert. So another aspect of this would be to make sure that you're also promoting your affiliate offers and Edstera ads within your content as well. So next, let's take a look at this in action and see what it would look like on a live blog. In this portion of the tutorial, I'm gonna show you an example of how I would leverage my content, affiliate offers, and ads prior to an event and also during an event as well. Both are key times to capitalize on this prime traffic and increase your conversions. So as you can see, I've published my blog post, the 2024 Counter-Strike 2 World Cup in Brazil, an overview and predictions. And I've also sprinkled relevant affiliate offers within the post as well. This not only enhances the user experience, but it offers readers easy access to products or services that are directly related to the content they're interested in. Then finally, I'm implementing some Edstera ad units as well, specifically the social bar and pop-unders. And here's a quick example of what those ads look like after you've enabled them on your site, which I show you how to do in my Edstera tutorial linked in the video description below. After the page loads, you'll see that there's an additional tab that loads in the browser. This is the pop under ad. And when the user opens that tab, they'll be presented with the ad. It's not intrusive, but still presents the ad to the viewer and you get paid for impressions, which is a win-win. Then here is an example of the social bar. This is a different type of ad unit, but the social bar is one of the most engaging and interactive ad formats. It can look like an in-page splash, chat bubbles, custom banners, icons, even quizzes, etc. But as always, be sure to experiment with Edstera's dynamic ad formats like the social bar or pop-unders, designed to capture attention without distracting from the user experience. Also, don't let your efforts go unnoticed. Be sure to optimize your content for the search engines with relevant keywords related to the event. And if you use WordPress, I highly recommend the Yoast SEO plugin. This is my go-to plugin for everything SEO when it comes to blog content. It streamlines a lot of the technical aspects and helps your content rank in the search engines. And having a strong SEO strategy ensures your blog ranks high when sports fans scour the internet for event insights, driving organic traffic, and increasing conversions. Another key component to this is social media. So next, let's quickly go over how to leverage social media and relevant communities in order to monetize your content during sporting events. In this portion of the tutorial, we're going to explore how to expand your reach through social media and relevant communities. This could include sharing engaging content, participating in discussions, and linking back to your blog. So for this particular example, I could use platforms where e-gaming fans congregate, like Reddit, Discord, Twitter, etc. You'd obviously not want to spam these communities, but you could leverage them to share your insights, contribute to ongoing discussions, and subtly guide users to your blog for more in-depth content. In doing so, you'll build a reputation in these communities, establish trust, and position your blog as a go-to resource. The more visible and active you are, the more traffic you drive back to your site, increasing the visibility of your Adstera ads and your relevant affiliate offers. And mastering social media and community engagement requires consistency, creativity, and a genuine passion for your niche. And by implementing these strategies, you not only amplify your blog's reach, but also create a dynamic space for your audience to connect and convert. Remember, every interaction is an opportunity to showcase your content, ads, and affiliate offers. And that leads us to the final part of the strategy, which is analyzing and optimizing. All right, now that you've been running some sports audience targeted campaigns during popular events, it's time to analyze the results and find ways to optimize your performance. And when it comes to your Adstera ads, I recommend using Adstera's analytics to track ad performance and audience engagement. So within your Adstera account dashboard, if you click on statistics within the left-hand sidebar menu, 
you'll be taken to your ad unit stats page. From here, you can view all of your ad units and see how they're performing and which ad formats yield the highest conversions. Then once you have an idea of what's working and what isn't, you can refine your strategy, optimize ad placements and content types to match your audience's preferences, ensuring every sporting event brings in even more revenue. All right, so that's gonna do it for this tutorial. Remember, maximizing your website's earnings during major sporting events isn't just about timing, it's about setting the stage for growth and forging deeper connections with your audience. And by implementing these strategies that we went over in this video, you'll be setting yourself up for success when sporting events take place. So that's gonna do it for this video. If you found it helpful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Blog With Ben YouTube channel. Also, if you're thinking about starting a blog, you gotta check out my step-by-step -step tutorials. They'll show you everything you need to know in order to build, grow, and monetize a professional WordPress blog. And as always, your support means a great deal to me and my family, and for that, I thank you. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video, and thanks for watching.